Good morning. I'm Lois Carrier, Certified Financial Planner. Today I want to share a little bit about the many financial de designations people can use. For those of you who have elderly parents, this will be information you can share with them since many seniors are victims of financial scams. If your parents are like most parents, especially mine, they want to remain independent and especially with their finances. However, studies have shown that seniors are lured into unsuitable investments by unsuitable advisors because they're impressed with designations which sound legitimate. But studies also have found that not only elderly, but just the regular investing public have no idea what designations mean, and they're also confused. And there's over 170 financial designations available. Golly, no wonder most people don't know who's who and what's what. Even in the area of medicine, it's not that confusing. We all know the differences between an orthopedic versus a neurologist versus a cardiologist. And we also know that orthopedics cannot call him or herself a cardiologist without having the education and the license to practice as one. So needless to say, most of us are impressed with any type of claim of certification, accreditation, or registration, but we must not be. Many financial de designations require little or absolutely no education. They can be bought and used on business cards as an empty title for marketing purposes. Next week, we're going to delve into some of the things you need to understand what to look for in a designation for someone you and or your parents might be considering to manage your money. Just need to be careful out there. Thank you. All right. All right, Lois, we'll see you again next week. We're well, coming up. We'll show you.